Hello, hello, and welcome back to Wednesday Web Page Builders. This is Miss Blair, and I will be doing the lesson today. If this is your first time joining us, welcome, but I do suggest that you go back to the first video that was posted on September 2nd. It goes over how to download the free version of Sublime Text, which is the text editor we will be using in this HTML web page building series. It also goes over tags and elements and all kinds of things that we've already done, so you won't be lost. I hope that you will um, go back. So today we are going to learn about inputting elements. So in addition to showing information, many web pages ask the user to enter various details. In this lesson, we will look at different forms of input elements that are, that are going to ask for information. Our site won't be online and it won't save any information, so don't worry about what you're gonna type in the lesson because it asks you for like a birthday and I'm just showing you the different kind of inputs you can put in, but don't worry, type in whatever you want, nothing is gonna save. So our key concept today is input and select elements. There are a variety of input elements that can be used to get information from the person viewing a web page. So this is like when you want to type in any kind of information about yourself to get um, maybe like an address if you're doing like an Etsy thing, whatever. Another way is to use a select element by creating a drop down menu. So we will have a drop down menu today. I'm going to be doing a lot of coding probably the most we've done so far in this uh, web series. So you're gonna start a new file, file, new file, okay? And we're going to start with the following code. Like always, we open up our HTML, and then we're going to do an H2 heading, and it's going to be, tell me more. And close out your H2 heading. And so tell me more, this is going to be a page that you would link to from like maybe your home page where you're just trying to figure out more about your followers. Like maybe if they really like all these certain things, you can add more of that to your blog. So we're going to open up a label tag and we're going to type in what is your name? What is your name? And we're immediately going to close out that tag. So um, we're adding a label, and this is similar to the paragraph element, but the next element will still be on the same line, like within our web page. So meaning it's going to say, what is your name? And what we're going to have the input down here, I'm going to type in input. So my input type. When it's on the web page, and I'll show you in a second when we save, it's going to, instead of appearing below, like what it looks like right now, it's going to appear right horizontally next to what is your name. So that's what the label um, element does for us. So we are going to do input type equals double quotes text, meaning it's going to give us a text box. And we close that bracket, and then let's close out our HTML. Let's go ahead and save this file, save as inputs.html. And let's see if this is working for us. So inputs.html. My home browser, like the one that the city set up for us is going to automatically go to Internet Explorer. Um, I'm going to show you on both because I'm going to use Internet Explorer and Firefox today. Internet Explorer is boring. So the inputs that we're going to put in for your HTML code, just know that it's going to look different in different browsers. So I'm going to demonstrate that as well. But so far, we're, we're good. So this is our heading. Tell me more. And then what is your name? You should be able to type in here. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. So let's go back to our code and we are going to keep adding. So go back up to the end of your fourth line and we are going to press enter and we've got a whole lot of code that's coming at you. And I'll explain what the different things are going to do. So let's add in a double break. Break and then another break. We learned last week that means that there's going to be some space. So we want there to be basically like double spaced. 
in between. What is your name? And then this next question that we are going to ask, we are going to ask, when were you born? So you're going to open up that label. B-E-L. When were you born? Close the label. And then input type. And the input type is going to equal double quotations date. So this is going to be a date picker, which contains a list of dates to choose from. But I'll kind of show you how that looks different on the two browsers. And then we close it. And then let's do a double break. Break, break. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is adding a radio button. And this is a good type of input to use if there are only a limited number of choices. So we're going to choose two choices. Um, and so the code name equals BG is going to link our two options together. And I'll show you that in a second. But we're going to start with a label. And are you a boy or a girl or an alien? No, we're just going to do are you a boy or a girl? Question mark. And then we're going to close out that label. Enter, input type, and then this is going to be equals double quotations radio. And then on the other side of those quotations is going to be name equals double quotations BG, boy, girl, and then we go over, close that bracket, and we're going to type boy. And then that's going to look the same, except instead of boy at the end, we are going to type in girl. Close quotes, BG, bracket, and girl, and then two breaks. So what this is, there's going to be, are you a boy or a girl? And there's going to be like a little button for you to click boy or a little like those little circles that you can click in for a girl. So that's what this kind of input label is. Then we are going to do what is your favorite color? So we're going to put in a color picker, which contains different colors to choose from. And again, each browser is going to show this a little differently. So let's do a label. And what is your favorite color? and close the label. Then our input type for this one is going to equals double quotes color. Close that. And then we've got our two breaks. And then the last one is going to, we're gonna create a drop down menu. So our last label is going to be which of these foods is your favorite. Close that label. And then we're going to select, telling the computer that this is going to be multiple choice. When you enter, it should indent for you. So you're going to have option. And the first thing is going to be choose. Okay, so you're telling the computer this is going to be a choose option. So then you close your option. Option one, just option, but our first option is going to be pizza. Ooh, pizza, pizza. Then we close that option. And the next option, let's do salad. Let's close the option. Our third option, let's make it be fries. Close the option. And then our fourth option, let's make it be apples. So we're going to close the option. And then we're going to close the select. All right, because we have an open up here open tag. And so we've got to close it down here. And then you still have your closed HTML. You can control s I'm going to choose file, save. I've already got it pulled up here. So I should just be able to refresh. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is just leaving me text boxes and then my fun drop down menu. OK, 
Okay, but right here, I'm going to copy and paste this into my Firefox browser to show you we really did some cool stuff. Oops. Okay, so this one is a text box. I can type in Blair. But this is fun because when were you born, it gives me these options. So June, day, fourth, and year. You can scroll. Bada bing. I'll say 2002. Are you a boy or a girl? What is your favorite color? If you click in here, it gives you a whole mess of colors. This is my favorite color today. And then which of these foods is your favorite? Oh, fries. So that shows me that I did not type in my code correctly. Fries, saving, refreshing. So it refreshed all of my choices, but that's okay. So fries. Yay, you guys. So this is fun. So you can for sure, for sure play around with this. Try adding in maybe like one more thing. Look at it in different browsers because my Internet Explorer browser, like when I click in here, it doesn't give me any of those options because Internet Explorer is very limited to what it can do. So try it out in different browsers, Safari, um, Chrome. And that's it for today, guys. You did an awesome job. That is a lot of code. I think that that is the most we have done. I don't think we've ever made it to line 24 yet. It's only going to get more and more and, and more fun. Uh, be sure to tune in next week. We are doing linking and embedding videos. So make sure, make sure, make sure you join in next week. Thanks, guys.